yo yo what's good youtube it's the girl your favorite girl auntie mt and i am back with yet another hot video so guys listen 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 let me start by explaining because you know i had already shot this video i already filmed this video but i didn't finish it right and because of that i kept thinking to myself okay i'll just finish it when i have time and just put it all in one video but i really want to give you guys nothing but the best quality and i just feel like i didn't want to do that that's just me so i'm going to refilm the video so yeah i just figured let me refilm and give the people what they want before we get into it before we go too far please don't forget to like this video don't forget to comment don't forget to share and if you're not part of the empty universe already where are you what are you doing subscribe guys <laughs> and in order to be notified every time the girl posts another hot video push the notifications bell so you can be notified right yeah and i know y'all came here knowing what it is and what's up because y'all saw that title right so today i'm going to be giving you guys a cute little cook with me slash um life update because i've been gone for so long and i need you guys to know why right guys yesterday was maintenance day so pala they're pink but the lighting is making them look white but yeah i'm obsessed but anyways guys let's get into it right start off by telling you guys what i'm gonna make right um guys let me be honest because you guys are my empty universe i owe you guys nothing but honesty cooking it's not my strongest point can i do it yes will you eat and get full yes but like i don't do it often enough for me to get like better right so yeah i've been trying to get back into that bag if you ask me to bake though i'm a, like <clears throat> what the fuck happened? What happened? if you ask me to bake though got you and i can also i can cook but like i feel like i could be better you know so today i'm going to be making a chicken stew right on a bed of rice right and i'm gonna make mashed squash and then i'm gonna make baked potatoes how yummy is that how yummy does that sound mm. anyways <laughs> let's get into it right yeah so what i'm gonna start with is rinsing my chicken guys that's very important rinse your meat but anyway i'm not this is not like a <clears throat> this is not i'm not teaching you guys how to cook so i'm not going to explain what i'm doing i'm just going to go at it while i'm giving you guys my life update okay so first thing is first guys the question everybody's been asking yamti where have you been <laughs> So guys, oh, I did wash my hands before coming here. Don't come for me. I did wash my hands. I washed these hands. If you want me to do it again, I can. Because I don't want you coming for me. But anyways. So guys, um, the last time y'all ever saw or heard of me, on the YouTube streets, of course, was the drop of my last video and my last video dropped in jan which was my new year's eve vlog right believe it or not guys the day of that drop my life became a wishy wish a wishy wish a wishy wish hey guys so much happened so much happened the day of that drop not to say because of that drop but also to say because of that drop okay so let me be real with you right guys i was sort of seeing someone from around this time last year 
up until like mid this year, right? And yeah, we're seeing each other and whatnot. And I mean, we were seeing each other, you know, it was okay. Nothing suspicious, nothing dodgy. And I'm not going to give you guys that story time either. I feel like that's going to be its own story time. But I just want to give you guys an overview so that you understand the context, right? So I was seeing someone. And the drop of that video caused a lot of drama. Not between me and that person, but with a third party, right? <laughs> guys and you guys are grown if you get it you get it like you'll find out in the story time i'll do if i ever do it because like i'm also i feel like i was ready to do a story time when i wasn't over what had happened between me and the person but now i feel like i'm so over it like it's just like like he can jump in a pit of fire for like hey you know like i really don't care and i feel like my the st making a story time would just be to get back at him so it's like yeah now the world must know so yeah i just feel like making a story time about this person would give them number one leverage to feel like oh damn i hurt her so bad which they know but like you know he's dumb so i don't want to get into that he is dumb i'm saying it with my chest for those of you who know you can send him the link so yeah guys yeah so i just felt like making a, a story i feel like making a story time will just make it look like i'm not over the person which i truly which i truly truly am mm, truly truly but like yeah so anyways yeah so that happened so that's one of the reasons why i took like a back seat because mentally and emotionally from that point going forward oh, ah, guys i was so bad <laughs> and yo i 2023 almost knocked the a girl down <laughs> emotionally mentally yes but don't get me wrong, I was trying because I had gone to Cape Town, I think two weeks after that drama. And um, in Cape Town, I filmed so much content. But now, um, I filmed a lot of content. I wanted, to do, I wanted to do a weekend in Cape Town vlog. And if you guys still want to see it, please hit me in the comments and just let me know if I should still post it or not. Because I still have all the videos, everything is in a folder. It's just editing and the thought of editing got overwhelming for me. So I just like took a back seat. But like I'm back now. So, you know, I'm willing to do it. So yeah, guys, it was that. And I just like, because obviously between then and the start of school, I was chilling. So the time was there. But now once I started school again, ah. We were gone like oh dude school school on its own is a chat oh. academics this degree this degree chair so yeah guys academically i was shaking i've been shaking i'm still shaking you are shaking my kai so yeah so that's that so yeah i started school again and then i just got overwhelmed not only did i start school again but the social life the social life was was like is booming but that's when it started like oh, guys um like you know, i was going out quite a bit quite a bit but like i don't go out a lot guys but when i do i make sure that's the thing that's why it looks like i go out a lot but i don't when i do though oh yeah, 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 yeah. Best believe it's gonna be a time, you know. It's really 
Yeah, you break your promise, we break it now. Got a couple things that I want. Walks in the park with sweet things. If I rock your promise ring, I could be pretty on thing. You could become my king. Oh, okay, so this is like Feb that I'm talking about. Feb going out March, going out April. April going hard. But April had to have been one of the hardest. April. Okay, so yeah, April. April was a tough one and that's because I, yo guys, April was tough. April was tough emotionally, um, but I kept pushing. Like I don't allow myself to stay in a dark place. I do get into a dark place quite often, but I don't allow, allow myself to stay there. So yeah, I pushed through April and then when was my break? april may june yeah around june was my break during my break i think i went to cape town again yeah cape town was elite as usual i love going to cape town so yeah man it was nice chilled there for quite some time wait i can't remember if i went there for my break which was in june or like my semester break i can't remember no no no, no it wasn't semester break it was my break break so yeah guys that was nice that was really nice academically um this is just a short life update it's nothing too crazy academically guys <laughs> first semester first semester had me questioning everything first semester i was like is this worth it genuinely i was just wondering is this all worth it so yeah academically in first semester i just know i could have done better like I don't put in maximum efforts with my academics and when I don't like me even not putting in my maximum efforts I take out good results guys like <laughs> not to toot my own horn but this guy I'm telling you so had I worked a bit harder would I have done a bit better yes did I do really well anyway yeah so yeah that's my academic side of things Guys, this year, shame, I've been in good company. Genuinely good company. There's no cut-offs, no, you know, except for the, the rubbish of a person, the devil, that walked into my life and went straight back out, honey. So besides that rubbish, I really was in good company in terms of my friends, people I surround myself with. Yeah, I've been in really good company, man, and thank you guys for that. So yeah, and then let's look at June. June was the holiday, like I said, Cape Town. And then July. July was my birthday month. And it's so odd for me to say July is my birthday month because I literally closed the month. But, you know, here we are anyways. So yeah, July. I don't stop, sister, my nails. But anyway, yeah, July was lit. July was lit. I'm vlogging. So yeah, July was nice and then I celebrated, even my birthday was so special. And then came my birthday, 31st of July for those of you who don't know. And if you don't know, how don't you know when Yamti's birthday is if you're part of the Yamti universe? Mm, questionable. So if you guys don't know when my birthday is up until this day, go back to my very, very first video if you're a real one. Anyways so yeah guys my birthday was pretty oh my birthday was cute guys for those of you who don't know i turned 21 so yeah i'm a full-on 21 year old which is cute which is real cute so yeah guys that's my brand 21 year old baby so yeah my actual birthday was a bit of a sad one um and that's because of unforeseen circumstances but that was like in the early hours and then as the day went by i really enjoyed it and to just top everything off my family um organized like a dinner a cute dinner for me and like usually yes we celebrate birthdays and whatever but because they did it because it's like 21 you know it was really special they did a whole three course meal it was so amazing so shout out to my family and my fam thank you to my fam so yeah that was beautiful but now 
the main event birthday weekend yo I got one of the I think it ain't Nikki and I fought with Nikki, but she not too picky and she not too choosy. But sometimes she pulls I play with a kitty, it's too like a stick. I'm moving the bitch, chill like an alien. Chop with the 50, my Uzi is baby. I turn to the boss, can't do it no middleman. Too much, that's too much, too crazy, too lit, too nice. So, yeah, guys, I booked out a whole villa. It was gorgeous. And, yeah, I got all my closest friends to join me. Um, yeah, it was lit, I would say. I hate being preoccupied while I'm talking. So, yeah, guys, I booked the villa. And it was for the weekend. So, Friday night, Saturday night, and we left on Sunday. Friday night was chilled vibes. It was cute. It was, like, fun, games, you know, whatever. Saturday night. Saturday was the last supper. And your girl ate. Everyone ate that though, like everyone that came, everyone that followed the dress code ate. And yeah, I just appreciate everyone who came through for me. That was really nice. So yeah, guys, I had a cute birthday celebration and that was early August. And throughout August, yeah, that's when I would say I started, things started changing in life in terms of my mental, emotional, you know, well-being. I, like August was a cute month guys august was a really 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 cute month i would like to think like august was super cute actually like august was real cute real real cute and yeah i went out a lot in august like weekends away type thing like it was really really good guys yo i enjoyed my august went so yeah guys august was cute like i was saying i went out a lot and i was just in good company mentally and emotionally i just got into like a better space better head frame you know i was just good you know and then september september has to have been my favorite month of the year not only is it the month my queen my angel my everything my mom was born so she also closes september she's on the 30th um i went to go see my mom my cousins my twin and yeah, it was so amazing you know so i think that started my month off on a beautiful note went to go see everybody which was um got into new good company yeah guys september was like beautiful and now we're in October. So yeah, guys, that's really just been my life. If I left anything out, oh, I left out a lot. But like, guys, yeah, some things need their own personal story time. So yeah, guys, that was my year so far. October obviously just started, and also that like it's been cute, man. Like October's been so cute. So yeah, guys. Um, lastly the last part of my update is basically updating you guys on what to expect going forward and also i'd love to get feedback from you guys in the comments on my social media platforms with regards to what you want to see so guys um i want to produce nothing but authentic content and i figured like most of my content is me yapping and i should just embrace that more so I will be giving you guys more story times because I know y'all like my stories. Because I've got a lot. I've got a lot. So I plan on giving you guys more story times. Vlogging as well. I found that like I'm actually pretty good at the whole vlogging thing. So yeah, more vlogs. But also a part of like a genuine, like a big part of me, which is on all my other social media, is my fashion, right? And I don't put that out enough on YouTube. So um, I got a lot of suggestions of people saying I need to do get ready with me's. Um, and I want to do more of that. So I want to do get ready with me's. But at the same time, I want to show you guys how I actually construct an outfit. You know, because, you know, it's an art. It's an art, you know. So, yeah, I want to show you guys how I construct my outfits. 
I want to do weekly outfit videos where I show you guys my outfits for the week um show you what the inspo is you know because like for me it's not just putting on an outfit really and um, there's like a lot that goes into it and like fashion needs like a lot to me guys so yeah i want to put you guys more into that but at the same time i'm incorporating my stories because i got a lot to say not just stories i want to do more yeah opinion videos reactions and mukbangs you know cute videos where it's that but also incorporating my content. So I want to do your mug bangs, your get ready with me's, but at the same time, giving you guys the usual yam tea flavor. And just like that, we have reached the end of the video. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If you've gotten this far, I appreciate you. I love you. And guys, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm ready to get back into my YouTube bag. But this iPhone storage, honey, is <laughs> holding me back. But anyways... Thank you guys so much for joining me and stay tuned for the next one please guys like share comment and if you haven't subscribed already and you're at the end of this video and i warned you at the beginning please please subscribe and join the mt universe you love it over here because i love it over here <laughs> okay bye